Hello, my name's Paul and I'm from South Yorkshire Police. And my name's Joe McCreesh and I work for South Yorkshire Fire and Rescue. And I'm here to talk to you today about dark nights and how to stay safe around fireworks and bonfires. Firstly, I'd like to speak about antisocial behaviour. During the dark nights period, demand on both the fire service and the police increases. It's due to accidents caused by from fireworks and people misbehaving in the community. Gathering in large groups or gangs, possibly drinking alcohol in public places, making excessive noise and disturbing the community. It's even damaging someone's property. So the consequences of this behaviour can be that you may get a fine, you may get issued with a behavioural contract, you could get a criminal record or a community order and at the very least your parents might be informed. It is an offence for any person to throw a firework in a public place. It is an offence for any person under 18 to possess a firework in a public place. Using or buying fireworks illegally can result in a £5,000 fine or imprisonment for up to six months. Here you can see a picture of someone who was holding a lit firework. This person has now got to live the rest of his life with these scars and these injuries. So then, what is arson? Arson is the criminal act of deliberately setting fire to property to cause damage. Consequences for committing arson are that you will be arrested. You will get a criminal record. You may get sentenced to a Young Offenders Institute. You'll get a fine and you may cause serious injury or even death. Hope's calls can kill. Real fires need a fire engine straight away and not late because of Hope's call. Only call 999 in a real emergency. Hope's calls can divert emergency services from where they are needed the most. I'd like to talk about peer pressure. Please don't follow your mates if they're playing with fireworks, throwing them around or throw them at people or at buildings. Make an excuse and go home. Leave that situation. Tell your mates your tea's ready or you've got to go out. I'm now going to speak about road safety. It's important that people can see you, that motorists can see you. Be bright, be seen, wear some light coloured clothing to give people a chance when you're out and about on the streets. Finally, a little bit about water safety. Lakes, rivers and canals and ponds freeze at this time of year. They are really nice places to visit but can be very, very dangerous. Never go out onto frozen water and please stay away from the edge. If you see someone who needs help and they are stuck in frozen water, do not try to rescue them. You can use the What Three Words app on your phone to give an exact location to emergency services. Please call 999 and remain calm. So guys, thanks for watching and listening. I hope you're safe, have an enjoyable time. Most of all, get back to school safely. Thank you for listening and please stay safe. Thanks a lot.